I'm here for you. Ready when you are, Father. Right behind you. I'll meet you at the gateway presently, friends. Excuse me, sir. Mind if I take a little peek at you? I promise I'll be brief. My goodness, what a strapping physique. Capable of an astounding variety of acts of violence, I imagine. What is happening? Well, this must be the squirrel that tends the world tree. That delectable aroma. Could it be? Pardon the intrusion. Ah, yes. Amber resin. Delightfully nutty with a hint of squid ink. No. Not one for gastronomic exploration, I see. Wait. If you're Radit Hosker, why are you so different when we summon you for help? It's a long story. <laughs> but you are correct. I am indeed Radit Hosker. The one you know as Radit Hosker is merely one of my spectral aspects. And a particularly nasty one at that. I consider him so far removed from myself that he's practically a different person. Speaking of... Bitter, would you like to come out and see your friends? Fuck off! I'm busy! I suppose that was to be expected. Anyway... 
Now that I've polished off all this resin for you, would you like the seed back? It is the seed. Indeed. A seed of Yggdrasil, to be precise. Since my dwarven tenants performed their little reconfiguration, you'll need seeds like these to open up new destinations on my tree. <laughs> Your tree, huh? Yes, my tree. Here, let me show you. So that's why good Master Brock needed an alpine seed. Clearly you have important matters afoot. That seed you found unlocks Niflheim, of all places, a realm as ancient as it is vaguely sticky. Svartalfheim remains at your disposal if you have unresolved business amongst the dwarves. Alfheim yet, it's probably best for Tyr to wait for us here. The soldiers we fought in Svartalfheim, those were Enriar? I thought Enriar were just spirits in Valhalla until Ragnarok comes. They were no spirits. Indeed, brother. Odin appears to have found a loophole. Activated his forces early as a standing army. Perhaps something he could only do without any honest Valkyries around to stand in his way. Stare. There's something over here. Ah, a memory of war. You could use this as a training arena if you like. You'll just be fighting the recollections of enemies. They won't be able to harm you. There goes nothing. Another dragger to the left! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 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 
Yeah! 
my flank! Poison! <laughs> Ravens? The ones we've been destroying all this time? So it would seem. Free are we. Free of the Father. Our half-lives now belong to no other. What do you think that means? I don't know. But there's definitely something more going on here. to be here? Creeping me out, all these poor bastards with their souls cut up. Mimir, I know this sounds weird, but can you tell me again what happened to you? Every living thing has a soul, and every soul has four parts. Form, mind, direction, and luck. 
direction steers the souls of giants, dwarves, elves, and animals toward the Lake of Souls in Alfheim, where all the parts may be absorbed back into Alfheim's great light. The Lake of Souls? No! As long as his soul still has its direction, aye, it's well on its way. Ah, there you are. I knew you hadn't forgotten me. Master Kratos, I would speak with you. Here, do you know Ratatosker? Of course. We were just catching up in your absence. Of the squirrels I've conversed with, he's easily the most dapper. Perhaps as we travel, you can tell me the tale of your prior visit to the land of the elves. Sure I can. Alfheim was the first time we ever realm traveled using your temple. Freya tried coming up. Odin cast a spell on her. She can't leave Midgard. That's terrible. So then we fought our way through an army of dark elves to get to the light. You interfered in the elf Not by choice. We sought to fill our Bifrost, and they attacked us. The dark elves were covering with their sticky hive stuff. When we freed it, we light up the impact. This seems better now. Did they now? Alfheim. It's been so long. Not sure where the temple is from here. But that's where we'll find Groa's shrine. Broken history. Aye, not exactly an easy fix for that. I see the elves continue their war. Yeah, so much for things being better in Alfheim. <laughs> Yikes. Thimble Winter hit Alfheim hard. No. Storms have plagued Alfheim's deserts long before Thimble Winter. A living desert. Huh. It was once full of life, you know. And music. The Song of the Sands, he called it. Gone now. Hold on. I hear something out there. Something big. Some pain. Our goal is at the temple, not in the desert. There, the Temple of Light. Groa's shrine is at the top. Freyr never bothered returning to Alfheim, did he, Mimir? Aye, no. I assumed the fate of his own realm took precedence. Wait, oh. Freya's brother? Yes. Oh. Cut from a different cloth, that one. <laughs> <laughs> There's a barricade up ahead. What are those shiny rocks? Twilight Stone. A rare material that can take millennia to form. Majestic, isn't it? Occasionally, the light of Alfheim will bind to a rock and crystal, <laughs> growing like moth. Oh, I didn't know it could do that. <laughs> oh, very clever. Yeah! 
Freya's brother. How was he involved? Long ago, Freya of the Vanir traveled to Alfheim, where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war. Using his divine powers, he set about cultivating a tenuous peace among the elves. Did you mention how that peace fell apart as soon as he left? I was getting to it. You hear that? Oh, no. That's enough, please. We don't need to do this. We don't want to hurt you. We do not have a choice. Whoa, is that a bomb? We're the ones who freed the light. Stop him! Stop! Why are you fighting us? We helped you last time. Atreus, focus. I hate Alphon. Most unfortunate. They attacked us. More will follow once we're inside. Is there truly no other way? Not like they're giving us much of a choice. So your father said. I'm just naive, I suppose. No. Just an optimist, old friend. Best we move on for now, brother. Don't think we have the right tools for this one. It's so tall. We came in from the top last time. Didn't realize all this was even down here. It's an older gate, built to promote cooperation between the elves. But it looks like it's been sealed for some time. I'll go first. Atreus, let me know when I've reached halfway. So, uh, what's happening right now? This seal is meant to represent the balance of the realm when Freyr was here. Light and dark, working together in harmony. How's that look, Atreus? Good, I think. Father, now you go. Unfortunately for Alfheim, Freyr couldn't accept his sister's decision to marry Odin. He returned to Vanaheim and left this realm to its fate. To be fair, the Aesir did set him on fire that one time. Hmm. The door should have opened. Are you sure it's balanced? Yeah, but the realm isn't. Not anymore. Father, try pulling it the other way. Yeah, yeah! And Tyr, you keep pushing forward. Fine work, Atreus. Shall we? <clears throat> Whoa! 
What's a Dark Elf statue doing in the Light Temple? That's just how they looked before the Division. The Division? Yes. The Elves weren't always split between Light and Dark, you know. This statue depicts the Elves before the war, before they discovered the power of the Light. Ah! Yes. The stone briefly imparts a bit of light to your axe. That's useful. What's that sound? No sense in spoiling the surprise. Oh, it's the light. Ah. Ow. I've never seen the Lake of Souls so volatile. Aye. Fimple winter, you reckon? Of course. Making the light unstable. So the base of this light well, that's the Lake of Souls. Yes. After the creation of the Nine Realms, fallen souls began to gather down in those waters. When the Elves discovered its potential, they built this temple to harness that energy. A smashing success, to say the least. Many of them became addicted to their newfound power, and thus, the Light Elves were born. Imagine our light elf friends will be less than pleased. Speaking of light elves, let me try talking to them again. They may just to let these two do their thing, brother. <laughs> an idea to get us across. Lucky for us, swearing off violence doesn't mean he can't disfigure some architecture. This way. The shrine awaits.
temple looks so different than I remember. It was all broken and covered in hive stuff last time we were here. These elves use Alfheim's light to enhance the temple, and themselves by the look of it. They definitely look more dangerous than last time. Oh, those were just the foot soldiers. They'll get more dangerous the further up we go. Great. So if these elves use the light to build doors and make themselves stronger, what do the Dark Elves want with it? To return it back to its source. To them, the natural resources of Alfheim are sacred, none more so than the light itself. Aye, the Light Elf's success came at a terrible price. Alfheim's once lively desert withered into a storm-ridden wasteland soon after the creation of this temple. There's more Twilight Stone up there. on that twilight zone. Perhaps a higher vantage point is needed. Came of Kavasir. Ripped apart by his audience. Well, one member of his audience. Well, Thor. More light elves ahead. I'll handle this. Uh, maybe that's not a great idea. Oh there, friends. Salutations. We mean you no harm. Tear. Get back.
Incoming! Incoming! <laughs> they keep fighting. The Dark Elves want the souls and the light left alone. But the Light Elves want to keep using them. That's the long and short of it. Aye. So then, which side is right? Rarely is it so simple. And not our place to say. This is an Elven conflict. I said as much the last time we were in Alfheim. Right. Light doors. Hmm. Fortifications. Aye. None too eager to let the Dark Elves run the roost again. Looks right. Why not simply hold it in place? Excellent. Let's continue our ascent, yes? I don't think that's the way up to the shrine. We know. There's a chest over here. Oh, I see it now. Forgive my impatience. Oh, tricky. Go! There's gotta be a way to get your axe behind this crate, right? I don't mean to speak out of turn, but the 
white marble wall behind that grate. Perhaps your axe can reach it. explore Back to it then. Meaning if you look hard enough, brother, it's all in what you bring to it. <laughs> 